Then we gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all. Amen. As we gather here this morning as God's family with confidence, we call upon our Heavenly Father, knowing of His mercy and of His compassion. Lord, you are the way, the light, and the truth. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you call us to be a visible sign of your love. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you will come again in all your glory. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. O oh God, Father of mercy, who only begotten Son, as he hung upon the cross, chose the blessed Virgin Mary, his mother, to be our mother also. Grant, we pray, that with her loving help, your church may be more fruitful day by day, and exalting in the holiness of her children, may draw to her the embrace of all the families of the people. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever. And uh, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Jesus had been taken up into heaven, the apostles returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey away. When they entered the city, they went to the upper room where they were staying, Peter and John and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas, son of James. All these devoted themselves with one accord to, to prayer, together with some women, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. The word of the Lord. Responsorial song. You are the highest honor of our race. You are the highest honor of our race. Blessed are you, daughter, by the most high God, above all the women on earth. And blessed be the Lord God, the creator of heaven and earth. You are the highest honor of our race. Your deed of hope will never be forgotten by those who tell of the might of God. You are the highest honor of our race. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed are you, Holy Virgin Mary, deserving of all praise. From you rose the Son of Justice, Christ the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. And after this, aware that everything was now finished, in order that the scriptures might be fulfilled, Jesus said, I thirst. There was a vessel filled with common wine, so they put a sponge soaked in wine on a sprig of hyssop and put it into his mouth. And when Jesus had taken the wine, he said, It is finished. And bowing, he said, He handed over his spirit. 
Now since it was the preparation day, in order that the bodies not remain on the cross on the Sabbath, for the Sabbath day of that week was a solemn one, they asked Pilate that their legs be broken and they be taken down. So the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first, then the one of the other, who was crucified with Jesus. But when they came to Jesus, they saw that he was already dead. They did not break his legs. The one soldier thrust his lance into his side, and immediately blood and water flowed out. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, as we begin the, the great time of ordinary time, having just completed our Easter season, our Easter journey, we start with this great memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Its complete title is the Memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church. And I was thinking, what could I have the title of today's memorial? Mother. Mother of the Church. Who are mothers for us? What are mothers? What do mothers do? They literally give life. They care for their children, hopefully. And all good mothers are willing to teach, willing to comfort, willing to prod and promote to, to do better and to do well. They always believe in their children. They seek the best for their children. And ultimately, they love them. Are we imitating Mary in any form of that fashion? Are we life-giving in our actions and words? Are we teaching each other the good things of life? Do we comfort each other in the midst of times of need and hurt? Do we encourage each other maybe to do a little bit better? Do we believe in each other? Do we seek the good for each other? Ultimately, do we love each other? Mary has done this throughout the ages. We are called to follow that example. What a great way to begin the season of ordinary time. In giving thanks to Mary, our mother, reflecting on those, our own mothers, but to ask ourselves, are we willing to imitate that example and do it for each other and inspire each other to do the same? I invite you to stand. It is we have the courage to turn before our God and make known our needs and our desire. Let's pray for our church, for our Holy Father, our bishops, and all the women and men who serve in the name of Jesus Christ. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our pray for lasting peace and justice throughout our world, then into war, terrorism, and racism. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Let's pray in gratitude for the mothers in our lives, those who are life-giving, supporting, and nurturing to us. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear we pray that we may follow their example and be encouraging and supporting of one another through our words, deeds, and acts. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Continue to pray for an end to the pandemic. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear pray for all those who are sick, hospitalized and homebound, and all those entrusted with their care. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for all those who have died, those who will die today, and particularly those who will die alone. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us take a moment and silently pray for our own intention. We pray for all our intentions, including the intentions for Jim Corbell. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Good and gracious God, we make known to our needs and our desires. Those we speak aloud and those we speak in the silence of our hearts. 
We ask that you grant them, for we ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread that we offer, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine that we offer, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. And pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the love of the Holy Church. Receive our offerings, O Lord, and transform them into the mystery of salvation, so that by its power we may be set aflame with the charity of the Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church, and with her may be united more closely to the work of redemption, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to proclaim your greatness with due praise as we honor the blessed Virgin Mary. Receiving your word in her immaculate heart, she was found worthy to conceive in him in her virgin's womb. In giving birth to the Creator, she nurtured the beginnings of the church. Standing beside the cross, she received the testament of divine love and took to herself as sons and daughters, all those who by the death of Christ are born to heavenly life. As the apostles waited the spirit you had promised, she joined her supplication to the prayers of the disciples and so became the pattern of the church of prayer. Raised to the glory of heaven, she accompanies your pilgrim church with a mother's love, and watches in kindness over your church's homeward steps until the Lord's day shall come in glorious splendor. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we now acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth, our holy Lord, who is thy name. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, Lord, the fount of all hope. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the beautiful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take all of it, and eat it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of it, and drink it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for me for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. And let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of our Lord, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Oscar, our bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. 
We pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Together now, let us pray for the coming of God's kingdom as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and that we forgive those who have trespasses deliver us lord we pray from every graciously grant peace in our day that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, jesus christ lord jesus christ you said to your apostles peace i leave my peace i give Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will. For you have been reigned forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of that peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter the body. But only say the word, and my soul shall be free. And Remind you to sanitize your hands, extend your hands, come to the spot, demask, consume, and remask on the spot, and returning to your seats along the pathway.
domare. 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 And let us pray. Having received the pledge of redemption and of life, we humbly pray, O Lord, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother's help, your church may teach all the nations by proclaiming the gospel, and through the grace of the outpouring of the Spirit, fill the whole earth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Master this morning has come to its end. May we go in peace to love and to serve our Lord. Amen. Thank you, God. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.